All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post as much as possible these days. I did move states, so that's what this video is about. Um, so by the title, I'm just gonna put it out there. Number one, I did not sell my MR2. Don't worry, I would never get rid of that car. Um, I just moved to California, so I moved states. Um, actually in the summer so August so that's why I've been not uploading as such because I've been just super busy with school because uh, I'm in college right now but I just wanted to reveal as you saw from the edit this is my new uh, 2004 Acura TSX e-spec with the OEM body kit and everything so just wanted to do a quick run through I did install some parts over the summer um, and I've been doing some maintenance and such um, and so I just wanted to show you the car's super dirty. The paint is pretty much flawless. I did get it ceramic coated and um, completely buffed, polished by my friend Brandon, who owns a 1JZ IS300. He owns another IS300 Sport Cross, the wagon type thing. It's really cool. So um, here's the car, as you guys saw. Uh, I'm gonna do a detailed run through of the build later on, but as you can see, it is just so dirty. I mean, I have not washed this car in a while and it's super dusty these days. Uh, I did just do like a four hour round trip, road trip the other day. So, um, came with the intake. Um, the clamps were all loose when I first got it, so I had to do that. Um, I did put my Add W1 carbon fiber heat shield on here and a new cone filter. I replaced the spark plugs. I replaced the coil packs um, just, just to, you know, feature um, proof it. And then I did an oil change when I got it. The car, when I bought it, the car had 170k miles. It already has 185,000 miles now. I did put a ton of miles going back and forth, doing all my stuff moving. When I got it, the AC wasn't working, so um, which is a common problem in this car. So I got a new AC compressor um, and condenser done. That was done by a shop. I don't want to do that myself. I came with everything on the exterior that you see except for the tail light. So everything that you see on the outside except for the wheels and tires and the taillights came stock on the car. So comes with the genuine A-spec um, body kit. So front lip, side skirts, and then the rear lip on the back. Um, I did put on these taillights. I forgot the brand name, but I'll link it in the description below. Um, it's stock exhaust. Someone actually stole my catalytic converter when I was here in LA. So I have like a cat delete. Not done on purpose, it actually sounds terrible. Um, it sounds super raspy, it's kind of annoying. So it's stock exhaust besides that, so stock header. Um, I do have a check engine line because the O2 sensor got ripped out when they cut it out. I did post it on my Instagram, so if you guys don't follow that, follow me on Instagram. Um, it came with TN Advanced, I forgot what it's called, TN Advanced um, something coilovers. I'll put it on the screen in the description below. They're pretty good, they have dampening adjustment. They actually ride pretty stock feeling, it's pretty soft. Definitely not like a track coilover at all. So I don't mind that at all, it feels really great. I did put a new accelerator, accelerator pedal position sensor, um, cause that one went bad when I was doing my road trip. So it was like stalling out in the middle of my 20 hour road trip from Washington state to California, which was terrible. So um, what else did I do? I put a new belt on and then um, I just replaced the clutch master and slave cylinder so on the TSX there was a delay valve in the clutch master cylinder so I got that replaced with an EM2 um, Civic Honda OEM so that's a 2001-2005 EM2 Civic master so I got that done and then I did a TSX slave down there um, brand new clutch flew in there and then recently I also um, put on new rear brake pads because they were grinding down metal to metal on the, the rotors and such. So I got those done. Sorry for the background noise, I'm on a busy street in Venice. Um, came with the little ducktail here. I do want to get a, a Muyen, um spoiler if I can find one. I really don't want a rep, I just want to find one that's OEM because the rest of the kit's OEM. If it wasn't, if it was just an all replica kit, I really would not care, but because it's an OEM kit, Definitely want to have this. Like I said, no paint fading or anything like that, even the top. This is a Washington only car. I looked at the Carfax. It was bought in Washington, stayed in Washington, so it actually doesn't have any, you know, we don't get much sun over there, so the paint is actually really good. Moonroof works and everything like that. Interior is super clean. I have some junk in the back, but interior is super clean. There's no rips, stains, heat, there's heated seats in the front, six speed manual, of course, and I did install the Apple. 
CarPlay Android head unit. I'll put a description in that below. That was around 500 bucks. Best investment I've made. I use it every single day here. Um, what else have I done? I think that's pretty much done in terms of all this. It came with the fogs, came with everything. Koenig Hyper Rams. These are wheels that I had on my MR2 that I got from um, Tracking Racing on his wide body MR2 as well. They're 18 by uh, 18 by eight and a half. I believe they are plus 35 with a 235 40 17 Falcon tire on there. Um, it's just like a 380 Treadwear tire. I forgot the name of the tire, but um, this brand new on the front and then they're used on the back. Um, I definitely do need alignment, and I, as you can see, I did curb them a little bit. That's a lot of parallel parking that I do here in LA. My bad. I'm definitely going to upgrade later on. The car is actually not very low at all, as you can see. Um, it doesn't rub or anything like that. It's around a one and a half finger gap all the way around. But as you can see, even when I angle, and I'm used to driving low cars, I mean, you can't do anything about going 60 miles per hour on the highway and then all of a sudden hitting a pot. You just can't do anything about it. So, um, comes everything. Comes with it, the previous owner did put um, some sequential turn signal lights on here. They're usually these usually just blink uh, once like that when you put on your turn signals, but he put on the sequential ones, so those look good. Someone on the forum does them. Um, like I said, clean title, perfectly clean on the interior. As you can see, really really nice car. Really can't complain about it. I did have my mishaps over the journey that I've had. I've had it for around six or seven months now, and I've just been having some bad luck. It's a little bit hard to work on cars here because it's school. I don't have a place to really work on it. Um, so besides the clutch master and slave going out, and the accelerator pedal position sensor going out, and the rear brake pads, I did all that. I did the brake pads in the O'Reilly parking lot. I did the accelerator pedal position sensor um, on the middle of the road in like in North California, Northern California, Redding, um, middle of nowhere desert by myself, did that. Um, the clutch master and slave was done by shop here for cheap. So I do need to wash this car, how to detail it. It's just, every time I wash it, it gets super dirty. Luckily there's a ceramic coating on it, so you just wash down with water, everything comes off, but. Um, I'm gonna be making more videos of this car. If you guys wanna see more videos, let me know what I can do. I can't really modify it too much right now. Number one, I don't wanna spend money on it because I gotta pay for my school. Number two, I don't really have a place to work on it. So let me know what you want me to film. I'll film driving videos. I'll go up to canyons. I'll meet some of you guys if you want me to. Um, the car is really reliable right now. So I definitely just wanna get the exhaust fixed and then just keep it running nice, keep it in good condition and um, I like this car. I've always wanted one. I, after I got rid of my EP3, I definitely looked at these. I always wanted this before my EP3, but at the time they were like 12K, 13K, um, and EP3s were like seven, maybe eight um, at that time, around five years ago or something like that. So now these come, these had come down in price. I got this for a really, really good deal. Um, I, I always loved this blue. It reminds me of my EP3. So. Um, I got the fenders rolled by the way, so you do need that for these specs, but besides that, let me know what you guys have in terms of questions or comments or anything like that. I'll respond to you guys as much as possible. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, dream big, and execute.